Hey, what up, guys? John from Mongo Fishing. So I went fishing today, came home, and uh, this was sitting on my recliner. Apparently, it arrived while I was out. So I opened this. I did an unboxing video a little bit ago. Actually, I take that back. I did an unboxing video when I got home, and um, I don't know if the cameras hadn't cooled down yet or what, but basically I messed everything all up. So um, I have now opened this box. You guys aren't going to get the, you know, the surprise that I'm going to, you know, I'm just now seeing these baits because I have seen them. Um, and you guys almost saw them too had I not messed everything up. But anyway, so like I said, I've, I've opened these things, but let me go through them with you because here's my plan. Well, actually, I have, I have two plans for this box. Two things that I want to do with this box. One, you know the mystery tackle box slam where you got to catch one fish on each lure uh, or each bait in that month's box? Well, this has 14 items. Now, granted, two of them are uh, are terminal tackle, they're hooks, but and not everything is a bait, right? But um, there's a lot more than five or six that you would get in the typical mystery tackle box uh, to for the slam. So. I'm going to call this, uh, I don't know, a Lucky Tackle Box Ultra Slam. And uh, I'm going to try to catch a fish on each one of these items and do a video for that. So that's one thing I want to do. The other thing I want to do is I don't have a personal best for smallmouth and I don't have a personal best for spots. We've discussed this in the past. So I want to catch, I'm going to try to go out tomorrow to Greer's Ferry, bunch of smallies, bunch of spots in that lake. And I'm going to try to bust a PB, both of those PBs. Um, my minimum requirement is going to be at least a pound. You know, I catch spots all the time, but they're going to have to be at least a pound. And I'll count that as my PB. And I'm going to get, so I'm going to get my new PB, hopefully tomorrow, for both species on something out of this box. So, let's go through this. Um, first off, well, we got the trifold, right? Has the typical stuff, but the uh, this month's catch photo release tournament is broken down into different regions. Um, I don't remember what the regions are. Maybe they're in the, the book, um, but it was basically it, it used to be everywhere in the U.S. and now I think it's like Florida, Texas and the rest of the US. Um, it's not in there. But anyway, it's now broken down by region, so it makes it a little more fair so the guys in you know Minnesota aren't competing against the guys in Florida. Let's go through the trifold. The typical Fish Hound magazine and our sticker is from Lunker Hunt. Okay, so first item is a Dual Realis Fang Pop. This is Durialis Fang Pop 105. So it's 105 millimeter topwater bait. It's a popper. Seven eighths of an ounce. Color is Blue Moon Galaxy. This thing is stunning. And that thing's gonna get crushed. I look forward to throwing this for sure. That's gonna be an awesome topwater bait to, to use. Um, MSRP on this is basically 21 bucks it is twenty dollars and 99 cents so for a fifty dollar box we're already starting off pretty good with a 21 dollar lure next up is casey's classic runner now i already have one of these in my swim bait box this is a swim bait head it's an underspin swim bait head um you know this little underspin right here is what makes it better than the typical jig head that you use for for uh, throwing a swim bait. Gives you a little extra flash, a little extra thump, allows you to slow the bait down a little slower. So anyway, quarter ounce swim bait head. You know I'm gonna throw that. I love throwing swim baits. That MSRP's at $4.99. Next is the Lunker Hunt Prop Frog. I was actually throwing one of these today. I love this lure. I haven't caught anything with this lure yet. Um, but that's from operator error, not from fish participation, because I'm getting hit. I'm just not hooking them good. 
So this Lunker Hunt prop frog, it's typical soft body, soft hollow body frog, right? Has an extra stinger hook right there. But the legs, the feet spin, okay? Kind of like a whopper plopper does. So that's what gives it the little sputtery action. Now what I've noticed from casting this and reeling it in is that the feet spin inward. So one foot spins clockwise and the other foot spins counterclockwise. So they're, they're spinning in towards the hook. Um, makes a really cool, you know, topwater commotion. It's a, it's a fun little bait to throw. I like it. And, uh, and this is a color I don't have. This is Rocky Toad is the color. MSRP is $8.99. Next up is the Rapala Shadow Wrap. So this is a Rapala jerk bait. You know I love throwing jerk baits. This is Elite Blue. Yep, Elite Blue. 110 millimeter. And it's stuck in here. Come on. I can't get it out. Here we go. 110 millimeter jerk bait. You know I'm gonna throw that. Like I said, I like throwing jerk baits anyway. You can see the weights for the weight transfer system right there. Actually, that's that's not the weight transfer system. That's gonna be how it suspends. This is it says uh, your new favorite jerk bait. Um, these lures have these lures have moves that other lures only dream about. Horizontal struggle with a big kick plus a vertical fade or vertical rise on the pause. Perfectly mimics a minnow or a shad in its last quivering moments before the end. MSRP is eleven ninety nine. Um, swim depth of two to four feet. Slow sinking. That's getting that's getting a fish. I'm catching something with that. Next up is Janko Fishing Big Wig Magnum Hair Jig. I'm not a big fan of hair jigs. Some people do really well with them. This guy doesn't. Uh, I never really have. I've caught some saltwater species with them, but I can't think of any freshwater species that I've ever caught with a hair jig. Um, anyway, yeah, this thing's huge. It's probably, I don't know, seven or eight inches long. It's got a big old thick hook in it. It says, uh, truly magnum size hair jig. The big wig magnum hair jig delivers unmatched realism. Perfect blend of hand tied hair, feathers, mylar, flash, the the jig a deadly action um, and it's built around a stout mustad ultra point hook msrp is eight bucks so there you go that's going to be a challenge next up is stellar jig company rover the stellar jig company rover so it's a football jig Football jigs, um, black and blue. Football jigs are really simple to, to use. You uh, you cast these out and you drag them back. They're imitating a crawdad. So you want to use, like, for a trailer, you want to use a crawdad bait of some sort of creature bait, a beaver bait, something like that. Um, typically, you wouldn't use, like, a swim bait because, again, this is imitating something. It's a creature walking across the bottom. So you cast it out and you literally just slowly drag it back. That's it. Um, if you get stuck on something, stuck on a rock or something, just pop it. You want to use it on ledges, you want to use it on rocks, points, stuff like that. Places where you think that crawdads would be. You don't want to really want to use it in the back of a cove that's full of, of leaves or something like that, right? It's just not a good place for it. Um, I'm not going to say you're not going to catch any fish, but that's just... I don't know. I would probably throw something else in that situation. But anyway, that's that. The Stellar Jig Company Rover MSRP is $4.99. And I don't know what the weight is. I don't know. Feels like three eighths. Lifelike skirt, legend to match, forage, any type of water. Yeah. So it doesn't say the size, but that's it. Football head jig. Okay, 
next is liquid mayhem liquid mayhem is an attractant put this on your your lure or your bait to give it a little extra flavor and scent uh, pretty self-explanatory um, not for human consumption so don't eat it MSRP on this is $9.99 next up is bruiser baits crazy craw Yes. Okay. Bruiser Bates Crazy Craw. Uh, okay. So it's like green pumpkin, but some like purple and green flakes in it. Um, it's got the raised edges on the pinchers. It'll give it a little extra more flapping. It's uh, the same concept as Rage Craws and any of the the Rage um, products, they all have that little raised edge on the outside edge. Helps grab the water and cause more action. Um, so pair this up with this jig and, and your money. There you go. You're done. Um, Bruiser Bates Crazy Craw says thumping action Crazy Craw looks great while fouling or swimming. It's great for flipping, pitching, punching, and any heavy cover. Um, you can also swim it at any depth for tons of success. It's four inches long, has arms that flap at any speed, like no other craw on the market. MSRP is four dollars and thirty-nine cents. Next up is the Yum Swimming Dinger. The Yum Swimming Dinger is very similar to the Yamamoto Swim Sanko. Remember the uh, chatterbait video that I did? few weeks ago um, with the Cheddarbait trailers. I'll put it up right here. If you haven't seen it, click right there. Show you how cheddar bait, some Cheddarbait trailers look underwater. So one of those was the Swim Sanko, which is part Sanko, part Swim Bait. This is the, uh, what do they call it? The Swimming Dinger. So part Swim Bait, part Yum Dinger. So it's the same concept. Uh, four inch, ten pack, and this is two ninety nine. Next up is the Lunker Hunt Lunker Craw. I'd never seen these before. It's kind of cool looking. So I'm just gonna read this. It says the Lunker Craw has been designed to mimic. A a crayfish. It cuts through the water with a fast fall rate. It's great at, at generating both feeding and reaction strikes. Uh, Lunker Hunt core strength reinforcement technology is found throughout the bait. There's a mylar skeleton within the lure that has a special venting and engineering. Essentially enables more action and creates a longer lifespan. So there's mylar that is in here. Um, in fact, there's a little there's a, there's a piece of it right there. right here at this little flapper and right there at that flapper and sticking out right there and I'm not sure the whole concept but uh, maybe it's like the swim bentos kind of cool so that is the lunker hunt lunker craw pearl and there are pearl sparkle four inch five pieces uh, MSRP on this is four bucks three ninety nine next is smart baits glow grubs smart baits is that company whose lures change colors I've never really been a fan of that gimmick it's never made any sense to me because it's not like they're changing colors like that. They're slowly changing colors and it, you know, it's from like green to red or red to green. I, I don't know. I think if it changed quick, fish would pounce on it, but they're not noticing the slow change. I don't know. I don't get it, but these ones are glow in the dark. They have three little appendages on the end of the curly tail or curly tail grub, so that's kind of cool. It probably adds extra something. So and these are glow-in-the-dark um, 
It says, our glow baits will glow after minimal exposure to sunlight or artificial light. No need for recharging after a few casts. Smart baits glow is excellent for night fishing or for dark or stained water. Helps draw out fish and strikes. Uh, smart bait glow baits. One lure is all you need. MSRP $399. And there's a thing on here for a contest enter to win $150. So that would be pretty sweet. But that's that. Um, we're about near the end. Last up is Mismo Tubes. So tube baits. I did a video on tube baits too. I'll put that one right up here also. Uh, I'll link it like right now. Um, so there's four in here. It's kind of a purplish color, like dark purple on one side and a lighter purple on the other. Extremely salty. Oh my gosh, like salt. Good God, guys. Salt is like squeezing out of the pores of this. Like, hopefully, you guys can see this. Can you see that? I really hope you guys can see that. The salt just like coming out. That's insane. Crazy, crazy salty. There are four of these in here. Um, yeah, four tubes. MSRP is four bucks, so a dollar or two. Like I said, I did a tube video. It's linked up here in the top left. Uh, last two things are terminal tackle they're hooks we got four three yacht mustad ultra lock light for soft plastics these are three yacht extra wide gap hooks basically right hopefully you guys can see that okay four of those it seems like it's got a really good gap on it. Um, and then five. Oh, and those MSRP for four bucks, so they're a dollar hook. And then five of these VMC Ike approved wide gap hooks. Now these are kind of unique though. I had never seen hooks like this. So they're very similar to the typical EWG, right? Just it's an extra wide gap hook like other wide gap hooks except the hook point is offset to the left. Well, for me, the left, for you guys, the right. It's offset by three degrees. Um, and then the, the loop is, is resin closed, so your line can't get stuck down there. But, but the hook point is offset by three degrees. I think that's kind of unique. I'm sure it helps with the... Uh, with hookups somehow. So these are five of of them, and uh, they're four aughts. MSRP is four bucks on those. So that's the box, guys. As I stated in the beginning. Oh, and there's a word from Flo. And then a coupon for Lucky Tackle Box fans uh, for Cast King for their line and their rods. Okay, guys, so like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to bust a, um, a PB on stuff from this box. And I'm going to try to bust a fish on each item in this box. So, that's going to be quite the challenge, um, I think. Um, so we'll run back through it. Two different types of hooks. Um, we have four, five different soft plastics. We have the tubes, the grubs, the yum dingers, and two different types of craws. We had the attractant. The jig, the football jig, the hair jig, 
that's I'm gonna be riding the struggle bus on this guys I'm pretty sure um, the underspin the jerk bait and the two top waters prop, prop frog and fang pop so thank you guys very much for watching if you're new to this channel please hit that subscribe button's right down there looks like me holding a fish um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below what lure or lures do you think I'm gonna bust my PBs on um, yeah I have some I have some thoughts again guys thank you very much for watching and as always get out of the water be safe and go stick some lips